Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Gemini. Gemini, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you're new on board, welcome. If the readings, uh, and keeping in mind the readings are general, if they do, don't resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. If you're unsure how to do that, Wow, we have the moon coming out here. If you're unsure how to do that, you can just Google natal chart and put your details into the natal chart of your birth. Some people say, I can't find my, um, I can't do my natal chart because I don't have my time of birth. And the only thing you need your time of birth for is your ascendant. Most other planets will sit fairly still, although sometimes they do move a little bit. But if you're on the, on the edge of a planet moving into another star sign but you can do it without all right we have the king of wands coming through as well something is being revealed to you here quite possibly from somebody that you're dealing with could be a leo sag or aries somebody is disclosing something opening up to you speaking to you about something here hmm all right, we're going to use the romantic tarot for your reading. Please make sure if the reading does resonate with you that you give it a thumbs up and help us to grow the channel. Most grateful. All right. No, no, not all right yet. All right, we'll go again. No, not again either. Wow, you've been very particular this morning. There's a story to be told here because I have the Nine of Cups coming through. So whoever this person is coming forward here to give you some sort of explanation or let you know something that's been going on that perhaps you weren't seeing before is going to bring a wish to you. It's going to help something happen in your life that you've been wanting. All right. Okay, so we have the six of cups coming through how very interesting so the six of cups is a card that talks about nostalgia remembering i can't get the screen to go darker um it's a card of childhood card of childhood happiness um it can also signify some sort of soulmate connection with somebody some sort of soul connection here all right, so we have the Queen of Cups coming through here. So the Queen of Cups represents Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Queen of Cups is actually very beautiful. She's very loving. She's very generous. She's very devoted, I want to say, to her cause. She loves unconditionally. She's also somebody who could be very intuitive and represents often the a clairvoyant or a person who works with the esoteric arts she can also represent a mother figure just see where we're going with that all right so we have the three of cups here and the four of swords i feel like there's an energy here that somebody from your past here possibly a water sign is coming forward after perhaps leaving something else behind. There's celebration here. After a period of time of stagnancy, some sort of cycle is closing out. And I feel like this person has felt, has very felt either sad without you or has felt sad about something that happened because we have the Empress coming through here. So there's this energy that somebody is coming forward after a period of time. Maybe this person impacted you greatly with that Six of Cups there. Maybe you had a very strong connection to this person, but maybe for some reason there with that Three of Cups, something couldn't move forward. I feel like this might be a long time for some of you. You may be dealing with somebody you haven't seen for many years or somebody that you didn't expect to return. 
that king of wands energy at the beginning with the moon says to me this person is going to make your dreams come true by returning with an offer of love all right let's see what's going on so we have the knight of wands coming through i can't help thinking that Pape, perhaps you've had some sort of short encounter with this person may have been just a bit of a fling may have been a one-off thing you may have just crossed paths somewhere but you felt the electricity you felt the connection between the two of you but it was only very short-lived here but whatever this was it stayed with you for a very long time but perhaps you didn't realize that it affected the other person in the same way because they are coming back here so if it was just a brief encounter maybe some sort of possibly a one night stand a date something perhaps you felt for some reason it didn't really go anywhere but you felt compelled to move towards this person then they're feeling the same thing back again there is a lot of passion in that card somebody's moving back towards you here i feel like this person here this is the four of wands sorry my screen's gone pretty bright again the four of wands is a card that talks about marriage and commitment I feel like your person's coming in to offer you something long term here all right so we have the eight of wands so there's communication coming with the two of swords because some sort of decision has been made here so I feel like maybe this person's been tossing up for a really long time on whether to return, come in. Maybe there's a fear here with this Two of Swords that, that things wouldn't have perhaps unraveled the way they were meant to. But I feel like this person may test the waters here with some communication. But this person has long-term commitment on their mind. They are definitely rushing towards some sort of offer, But there was a decision made here all right so we have the five of swords with the seven of cups wow okay and the seven of swords yep okay i really feel like this person thought this couldn't work it wasn't right maybe they were just sort of trapped in some sort of idea some sort of fantasy here but this person has gone through this over and over and over again, whether this is real, whether it's really happening. And I feel really strongly that you've probably been doing exactly the same thing here. I, th There is some sort of decision that has been made here, but I feel like you haven't spoken to this person for a long while. So there sort of seems to be this communication coming out of the blue. And it may be very casual and you may even disregard it thinking that it's not real or it's not what you think it is. Maybe you're still making excuses to put it away. Mm. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Judgment card, Justice, Justice card. And the magician wow somebody's making something happen here okay so somebody has decided made some sort of decision here that you are their dream come true they've been working very very hard on themselves and very hard at manifesting you could have been dealing with someone who put themselves into their work maybe they didn't feel they had enough to offer you this person could have been really really focused on building their empire the other thing that comes across here is this person may have walked away or made a decision about another situation and there may have been some sort of financial um, settlement here, some sort of divorce going through and maybe this person's had to rebuild their life again to be able to make this offer. But they are 100% committed to coming in. This, this idea here in, in the middle is this may be just a dream, I may be fantasizing, it may not be real, but I know that I don't want to stay where I am whilst I feel this way about someone. It's very romantic, very passionate energy coming through with this reading. 
Um, but it's beautiful. Whoever this person is, is just willing to take a chance now because whatever they feel that they've been possibly fantasizing about or dreaming about is worth taking a chance on now. So maybe you're going to have somebody turn up out of the blue and just say, I'm, I've am i always been in love with you and I want us to get married. Something's going on here. All right, so we have here the Six of Cups. So this implies that it's something from the past or this is a past life soulmate. This person has a very strong connection to you. So I do feel that you feel this. It is possible that this person is a um, water sign. I do feel that they are feeling very loving, probably really in their feelings here with the Queen of Cups, very emotionally driven. I feel that this person could have left something else behind, but I feel whatever this is, this person is celebrating something now. Perhaps after a period of closing out some sort of cycle, this person may have healed from another relationship or another situation, but whatever's happening now, they have sort of healed themselves and they are ready to close out some sort of cycle here. But this person is definitely coming towards you because they feel a little lost without you here. There's very much this energy that they have been doing it tough. And maybe they've gone back to, maybe had some sort of fling with you and gone back to a relationship where they've tried to make things work, where they've put in an effort, but it just hasn't worked for them. So they've packed it up. And they're determined now to bring this fantasy or this dream into reality. This person may never have told you how they felt either. So you may never have known that this person felt so seriously about you. Maybe you have a really big decision to make. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Wow, okay. So you may be making some sort of decision here yourself. So maybe this situation's got you a little confused. There's a judgment card straight out the gate. Somebody is start, wants to start again. Somebody wants to raise something from the dead. Some situation, some past situation that they want to bring back to life and breathe new, new life into it. Oh, straight out. That was really nice. Okay, so we have the card of the choice coming through. <laughs> 62. The choice. There is a choice that you need to make. You are aware of it already or it is coming to your awareness very soon. Embrace the unknown and say yes. You have the opportunity to enrich your world, to receive and therefore be able to share much more. If anxiety or fear arises, guilt or shame, treat it as the cleansing of your emotional waters as they receive so much more inflow from the divine ocean. Let the old layers rise to the surface of your awareness to be washed away. What seems to be so much in the context of your own emotional waters is not so much at all when compared to the great ocean is capable of holding. To what the great ocean is capable of holding. So let the divine ocean take the old, washing it away from you and replenishing you with the new, that you may serve life all the better. This oracle brings you guidance. It is safe to choose now. There is no wrong choice, just a choice that resonates with your heart. If it is challenging you, that is an opportunity for you to let the divine cleanse and lift you into the vibration where you feel at peace with your choice, where you can accept the grace it will bring to you. Do this now. It's your time to step up. Make your life easier on yourself and open to love in a more trusting way. Come now. The divine is calling you to play. I'll read you the poem. Our lives are measured in choices we have made along the path we call living. Each compass point a possibility, each step an opportunity, seemingly random, each decision moves us inexorably in a direction, both unknown and yet somehow familiar. For upon reflection, the strength we find in choosing or the surrender of letting all unfold leads us to the place we started from when we made that first choice to be here again. What a beautiful reading. That was a really nice card to get after reading that reading. 
I love how spirit can always plonk on me the card that just resonates with the reading so beautifully. There is a choice you need to make. I feel like your person's already made the choice, but I feel like this choice is your choice. I'll leave you with it. Thank you.